Hi there. My name is Leonard Parker. I am the owner of Destiny Marketing Solutions. We are a digital marketing agency focused on helping damage restoration business owners and contractors get more business, more leads, more results from their digital marketing strategies and ex execution. In this video, I'm going to talk about reviews, business reviews, and why they are important for your business. And instead of focusing on the basics, I'm sure as a business owner, if you've been in business for any, any length of time, you understand the importance, the value of customer testimonials, of reviews on places like Google and Facebook and Yelp. But in this video, I'm going to take it a step further and you know, look at some other tactics and other just uh, concepts that you may not be aware of. So the focus of this video is going to be on Google My Business and getting reviews here in what we call the Google Map Pack. However, it's also important to build up your reviews and your presence on Facebook, on Yelp, and Home Advisor. And I suggest if there are any local business websites in your area that offer reviews, that also that you build a presence there as well. Now, for this video, I did a test search for damage restoration a leaf. It's a air. It's an area here in Houston, and you see here uh, there are three business listings. Again, this is called the map pack, and you can see the first listing here doesn't have any reviews. The second one here, one eight hundred water damage of West Central Houston, they have one review, and then Blackman Mooring Houston actually has four point three three reviews or actually has 120 reviews and a 4.3 rating. So you might wonder why Blackman or 1-800 Water Damage isn't ranking number one here. Um, these have reviews, but this particular listing doesn't. And so that's a question I get often. So reviews, they do factor into your local SEO, but they're not the only factor. There are many other variables out there. Uh, while digging deeper here, and I won't in this video, I, I couldn't tell you why around clock restoration is our ranking these two these two listings but just remember that reviews are just one part of uh, building your presence here in the map pack and your local SEO now another thing I want you to notice here is that 1-800 uh, water damage has one review at five stars and then Blackman mirroring has a 4.3 rating with 124 reviews. Now, even though around clock restoration is the top spot in, in the top spot here, where do you think most of the clicks are going to go? You know, if I'm a typical customer, I want to go with someone who has uh, shown proof that they are able to do the job that I'm looking for and also they have a good number of reviews so I'm going to lean towards black man mirroring probably getting the most of these reviews here in the, the map pack because even though 1-800 water damage has a five-star rating so overall they have a higher rating black man mirroring has a lot more reviews so what that tells me is they're probably more experienced uh, they just have they're they're more battle tested for different types of water damage restoration jobs and there's a big focus on you know getting five star reviews however one thing to consider here and this is not so much the case for what 1-800 water damage they only have one review but if you're looking at 30 40 hundreds of reviews you know the likelihood that you have a five star rating on all of those reviews um, is it, it, it pretty much lowers with each new job, with each new review. So really your your sweet spot that you want to try to stay within is 4.3 to 4.6. You have a good, good rating, a good review rating. However, uh, it's realistic. It's, you know, because I think sometimes when we look at 4.9, I would say more so five-star reviews, it looks like maybe there's something shady going on, or maybe some of those are fake. So uh, just make sure that, you know, the important thing here is to make sure that you're, you have a process for getting reviews from your clients and your customers, uh, but also that you're staying within that, you know, mid, mid, four, mid four range. 
Now, with that said, for the rest of this video, I'm going to use Blackman mirroring as a guinea pig and just you know show you some different things with your Google My Business reviews that you may not have been aware of. So, uh, so I did a Google search itself for Blackman mirroring Houston. So it's the same business listing. So one thing that's always good practice, regardless if you're, it's a good review or a bad review, is to always respond to your reviews. And uh, this business owner, they have done a good job of that. Um, you know, of course, you want to respond to your five stars, but definitely respond to your one star, or your two star, really all your reviews. And what this shows potential customers is that even though that person gave that business a one star review, uh, it shows that the owner, the, the team leadership, they are responsive to the customer needs. Uh, as a business owner, I'm sure you understand that all customers, all clients always aren't fair. Um, there are things that may have been out of your control or things that you know, they're, they're just the proper expectation wasn't set at the beginning of the job. So in those cases, it's hard to difficult to avoid a one star or two star review. But you all, always want to make sure that you respond to those in a timely manner. Something else to consider here is that these reviews, these re these review responses are a great way to target different uh, keyword phrases and keywords that you're going for for your SEO strategy. So one example, and this is really general, is that regardless if it's a five star or one star review, you could put something along the lines of, thank you so and so for uh, your service, your business, I should say. Uh, we pride ourselves on providing water damage services, water damage restoration services to the Houston area. And that's a phrase that if you're in a Houston and you're targeting water damage restoration, that should be on your target SEO keyword list. And, you know, you can get more specific than that, depending on the type of job or if it was a specific area within your city, you can even get hyper local with your hyper local keyword targeting. But just one thing to always make sure uh, that you're always responding to these reviews and using them as an opportunity to target your keyword phrases. Now, other than that, so for the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about, you know, some things to know when you are collecting reviews. And if you don't have a process, you should definitely develop some type of process, whether that's you ask for the review at the completion of the job on the job site, or even you follow up with an email or a text message where you are proactively asking for that review, because unless that that customer had a bad experience with the job, more than likely they're not going to go and give you a five star review. Um, sometimes you're lucky, but it always helps to uh, solicit that review. And there are many uh, reputation management companies out there where you can automate all of this. But let's just say you're getting started. You know, one thing you want to look at is making it easier for your customer to review you. So. To get started here, uh, there's something called a short name that's linked with your Google My Business profile. So if you do have a Google My Business, and hopefully you do, uh, you want to make sure you go to business.google.com, and then you want to go to the, uh, yeah, the Home tab. And there's a section over here that says complete your listing at a profile short name. And that's something very short. So let's say for the case of Blackman Mirroring, uh, you you know, that can be your that can be your uh, short name, Blackman Mirroring. And one tip here, and this is something I haven't seen as many cases of this, but uh, I know earlier in 2019, there were cases where business owners would go in and add a short name and then by error their Google My Business profile would be suspended which is something you never want to do because it pretty much if you are ranking in that map pack or you're you know somewhere up there at the top it'll pretty much eliminate the visibility for your business so you always want to be as conservative as possible with your Google My Business listing so going back to this um, if you do have a uh, 
a uh, account that has access to your Google My Business listing but isn't an owner, so maybe it's an admin or editor, uh, make sure to make these types of changes from those accounts and not the owner account. Uh, I've found that uh, when you do not make those changes from the owner account, uh, I haven't seen a case where your, your listing gets suspended. And if you don't have another team member who has access, just create a uh, account access with you know, uh, uh, you know one of your other Gmails or email accounts. Uh, so if you're not sure how to do that, just go to users and then you'll just add a uh, user here. And that's pretty much it for that. And when you're done with that, you're going to have a, uh, a what's called a, uh, short link and pretty much as simple as g dot page forward slash whatever your uh, profile short name is so let's just say in this case we're using a, a fictitious business uh, Houston damage restoration um, and that's the link that you would send to your client in order to get the review so that's one way another way and this is a little bit more roundabout but um, doesn't take that long at all you can go to Google's uh, developers website and I'll share the URL in the video description so no worries there and once you're at that developer on that developer website just type in your business name here and in order to do this you do have to you do need a uh, Google my business listing and you'll notice that there's um, once you type it in there's going to be this little box that pops up and under that uh, your your business name there's going to be a place ID field and then you just want to copy and paste that uh, place ID field and append it to the end of this URL so this URL it's um, pretty simple uh, it's going to be standard regardless of the business or business name and then you're just going to copy and paste that uh, place ID at the end and then you can send that directly to your customers or you can even take the next step and use a, uh, short, a URL shortener service to make this uh, URL even shorter. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into that stuff here in this video, but I will share uh, links to a couple of popular URL shortener services in case you do want to take that step. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope that it has been helpful and hopes it has been a reminder just how important it is to uh, collect reviews, have a system for getting reviews for your damage restoration business and the importance of responding to your reviews and making the process as easy as possible for your happy customers. Uh, so we put together and release videos regularly targeting damage restoration business owners and just talking about different digital strategies and tactics to really help you improve your online presence and to get more business from it in the long run. So uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you for watching and I look forward to, you, to seeing you in the next video. Take care.